Thank you. I've been listening to you guys back there. You sound like you're in a pretty good mood, and uh, that's what sets us apart. <laughs> Yeah, saw my mom today. It was all right. I mean, she didn't see me or anything, but <laughs> it's pretty close. My friends are trying to talk me into the Prozac, you know. Oh, Margaret, you're down. Take the Prozac. Oh, take the Zoloft. Oh, take the Paxil. Finally, they all went on it. Now I feel great. <laughs> Turns out it was them. Well, you know, misery loves company. If you don't believe me, just look at a fly strip. <laughs> well, you'll never see a fly stuck there saying, go around. <laughs> They're all getting tattoos, you know. Yeah, one friend got a tattoo of a W on each cheek. When he bends over, it says, wow. <laughs> Mother's Day must be real special, you know. <laughs> and they're getting piercings, you know, and they're not just piercing the ears and the noses anymore. They're, you know, lips, nipples, navels. They're piercing their labia now. Yeah, piercing their little George O'Keefe's. <laughs> hey, what do you get up one day? You go, you know, the kids are in school. <laughs> I'll go get my left labia pierced. <laughs> Thinking, geez, how do they get through the metal detectors at the airport? <laughs> I'm irritated when I have to take my belt off, let alone my labia earring, you know. That's why when I fly, I wear the clip-ons. I'm in debt. You ever get in debt? Yeah. Oh. Did you know they call you? <laughs> yeah, one guy called me every day last week. Finally, I said, look, every month I put everyone I owe into a hat. Pick three names, I pay those people. Then if you call me one more time, I'm taking you out of the hat. <laughs> Everyone's broke. Yeah, I saw a truck right out here today on the side of the door. It said, driver has no cash. I thought, I'm broke, too. I don't plaster it all over the side of my car. <laughs> Get a self-esteem. Even if you're broke, though, you should treat yourself to little things, you know, like, I buy underwear. Eh. <laughs> yeah, put a new pair of underwear on, I feel like a million bucks, you know? <laughs> buy the jockey ones. They're 100% cotton. You can breathe. <laughs> And I'm opening a pair the other day, a little piece of paper falls out onto the floor. And I pick it up, inspected by Mary Lou. <laughs> well, thank God. That last pair burst into flames. <laughs> well, the Mary Lou's on the job, I can walk around safe in my underwear. <laughs> Except now every time I wear them, I think about her. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what she's doing. I wonder if she's thinking about me. It's already been in my underwear. She could at least call. And I'm vacuuming my couch the other day. Yeah, I'm getting under the cushions real good. A little tag pokes out of there, inspected by. I got to flip it over. I'm like, if it's Mary Lou, I'm getting out of the house. Busy Bonnie's been everywhere. I don't know what you inspect a pair of underwear for anyway. Besides, like a piece of glass. That'd be a bad day, huh? Big old piece of Coke bottle in your underwear? All day you'd be like, eh, I'll stand. Does anyone here inspect underwear? I mean, professionally. Tell you whoever's inspecting our underwear, they're doing a good job. You never hear about a big underwear recall. <laughs> or see Dan Rather on TV going, we're calling back the 92s. 
which I happen to have on right now. I wear my underwear way up here. Eh, the older you get, the higher your underwear get. Like rings on a tree. You're 80, 90 years old. Your breasts are inside them. When you die, they just pull them up over your head. She's gone, died in her underwear. Tell you what's got to be worse than death. Staying past your welcome, especially professionally. I never want anyone to go, oh, she used to be good. I think athletes have it the worst, you know, because you can see them failing. Like George Foreman, what's he doing fighting? He's 48 years old. You know when you sock him in the gut, he pees a little, you know? <laughs> oh, he's squirting. Margaret Smith, everybody. We'll be right back with Ming-Na Wen. We'll see you in a